What's going on guys? I'm Jason. You're watching another video right here on Phoenix Pop Tastic. Today we have another awesome pop hunt on this Saturday today. Hope you're enjoying your Saturday. We went to Walmart, found some cool stuff in there. We also went to GameStop. They had a couple cool things. It wasn't too bad. Went to a Target. We also found some cool things in there. I got a cool McFarlane figure there. And we also went to Zia Records where they have tons of cool stuff. I'm trying to find the Grey's Anatomy Pops because they're going up in value. Those Grey's Anatomy Pops guys, sleep on those and you might lose out because those things are going up. So let the collecting begin. GameStop maybe? So check that out guys, they have Eddie Guerrero. GameStop exclusive, that's a cool one. Phyllis Vance as well. They do have some Demon Slayer. Scarlet Witch from WandaVision. They have tons of the DC boxes and a whole bunch of these cool 10 inches. They got quite a few, good selection on those. Batman and the Batmobile, Selena Kyle. They have this five pack Star Wars. Um, and some other cool stuff definitely in the uh, group here. They have this Geralt game, but it's got a nice little rip there. So. Looking around, they do have Tanjiro versus Ryu, which is cool. I'm considering picking that up, but I'm not sure because if they have it at Walmart, it's cheaper. They do have a bunch of Demon Slayer pops in stock, so that is cool as well. They have Mike Tyson in stock. That's pretty interesting. Mandalorian games up exclusive. Diablo. We got some good ones in here. Bring the bowels of Walmart. So it looks like they got some Jonathan Davises in stock at Walmart, which is really cool. I might actually, I don't know. I might pick pick an extra one up. I don't know. Who knows? Anyways, looking around here, they have stripes. More Jonathan Davis. And this new Spider-Man 10 inch, which is really cool. Actually, I don't think. They had the other Spider-Man 10 inch I think they had was black, so that one's cool. Back with the Samurai Jacks again and No Chase as well. They get some Queen's Gambit. Looks like they're down to one Bray Wyatt out of the group. Or two. One or two. They're getting low on those. So you might want to start scooping those up before they disappear and the value goes up on these Bray Wyatts. Here we are, Zia Records! Alright guys, we are inside. I am trying to find, in particular, some Grey's Anatomy Pops because those things have been going up in value like crazy. So I found one of the A-Team Pops. It's a Templeton Faceman Peck. That's pretty cool for 10 bucks, not bad. We have some of the new Squid Game Pops in as well. I know my daughters want one of these, so... Scanning along, you guys can scan along with and seeing if I see anything that I want to pull out. I'm seeing a lot of cool pops I don't usually see, so it's always a good thing to come to Zia's because they always have pops you don't usually see. And it goes on and on and on and on, and they have a whole wall back up there as well. Sinj what, how do you, Shinsuke Nakamura. That's what his name is. Okay, guys, so we're Regal. looking at this wall. Yeah, we only have Regal. We're looking at there's a Viserion up there. I'm really trying to see if there's any dang Grey's Anatomy pops because those things are just skyrocketing in value. And I've seen them here before quite often. So, of course, now that I come here to try and grab them, I don't see any. But yeah, just still kind of looking, guys. I'm noticing they have a ton of these man at arms. Someone must have like brought in a bunch. Looking down here, guys, they have a Gerard Way red tie, but the box is just trash, and they still want 20 bucks for it. Um, I don't know who that is. Either crushing, but never seen that pop before ever. Of course, they do have their Grail cases. So you can see here, they have the Adam, they have Macho Man, Randy Savage, and Chases, Hollywood Freddy. That Castiel's cool. Some bronze metal Freddies. Looks like they got. Michonne's pet from The Walking Dead, Lilo and Stitch, and I think Lonnie said they had AJ on the other side. There he is there, $35.99, so it's like $10 over okay, PPG. I believe his PPG is $25. I would pick him up if he was a little bit cheaper. I'm um, looking down here, they have Jim Halpert. That's actually a good price considering he's gone up quite a lot. Um, Borderlands, there's the Butt Stallion. I haven't seen that in forever. 50 bucks for that butt stallion. You remember that thing, guys? That's crazy. It's cool they had the big boy with restaurant and it's only 26 bucks. That's not bad at all for a deluxe. Found this Aero Black Canary for $5.99. I think that's a deal I can't pass. They have some Triple H, some of the drag queens. See Hollywood Huckleberry, Notorious B.I.G. There's Blade, remember Blade? He was a fun hunt. And a 
some other cool stuff here in the case, but nothing that's really blowing me away at the moment, except for this Zen Mirror Batman, which is really, really awesome. Just here, they had this little end thing right here. They have the Batmobile there, 35 bucks though. Not really a great deal. But they have He-Man and what is that from the Eternals? That's a weird looking pop, even though you can only see me. Hi, hi, how are you? Um, let's see here, some Funkovers and just some random, random stuff. All right guys, so here we are with the first choice here. It's the Snake Man-at-Arms Specialty Series. I have been looking for this for a while. I've seen it in store, just never picked it up, but for a cheap price of $10.99, I figured why not pick it up? Now I've got that in my Masters of the Universe collection. And the girls said their favorite Squid Game character was Player 67 for both of them, so I only had to buy one pop for both of them, so that's exciting. So there is that, all the Squid Game, ga uh, Squid Game Pops. Almost said Squid Game games are out now, so make sure you check those out. And then a classic Black Canary, $5.99. It was a deal I couldn't pass up, so I figured I'd just pick it up. Um, I'm noticing the White Canary one has gone down in value. There was three of them inside there for 20 bucks, which wasn't bad at all, but those are my pickups here at Zia Records. All right, guys, we are heading into Target now. But first, there's this uh, half price books thing. Sometimes they have pops. They're right next to Target. So we're going to go in here first, and then we'll go over to Target. So this is it. This is the section. Not very much, but they do have a Harry Potter Bloody Baron. They have Percy here from something, Ice Age or something. Uh, Archie, Betty Cooper, Xander from uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, um, Raikou, Will, just no nothing really that good, you guys. So we follow the little red balls into Target. All right, y'all, here we are. Here we are in the big mess of Target. Have a bunch of crap, crap, crap everywhere. So here is their pop section. That's very nice and organized. First thing, they have this Black Luster Soldier. It looks like they have a few, I guess. Um, is that a chase? No. I noticed in last week's Pop Hunt video, there was a LeBron James Chase 10 inch, 12 inch, whatever you want to call them. And I didn't notice it. Someone noticed it in a video. So thank you to uh, Fusion for noticing that. So looking through here, you know, just looking through your normal stuff. There's Oswald Cobblepots, but coming across the Chase is going to be difficult, of course. We do have this wonder woman but she is the glittered one from barnes and noble much better pop than the common um looking back here there's not much there okay so looking through we're just kind of skimming through guys i know it's not the greatest views per se but we're just kind of skimming seeing what we can find they do have this two-pack parks and rec um they have a bunch of machine gun kelly for you crazy fans out there. There's a Samurai Jack. There's some WandaVision pins tucked down in there. Ned, Daryl Dixon with dog. Carol, wow, they have uh, Walking Dead pops. That's interesting. Huh, is this a reprint or is these new? I don't know. There's Daryl Dixon with dog and there's Carol from Walking Dead. So it's cool to see those in here. And of course, our lovely uh, Skeletor on Throne has been restocked enough. Look, Target Con 2021. It's 2022, because look, they have 2022 ones out. So that sucks. It's kind of funny that they have those out right now, the Skeletors. So I'm looking, there's a bunch of sales down here. Funko Pop Deluxe Harry Potter 1749. Harry Potter, Harry Potter, Harry Potter gift sets Funko I don't know what that is so just kind of looking to see Demon Slayer Funko Pop moment wow if I could find that that's that's a good deal I don't see any of those in here though so I was taking a second to look through and see if they had any of those Demon Slayer uh, deluxe moments but they don't I do notice they have some of the Joker pop pens which I really like that pop pen I'm just not gonna buy it because I'm trying not to collect those but anyways, and then this really expensive, small little motorcycle, which should be like 15 bucks, but it's, you know, 29 or whatever it is. So anyways, this big pile of mess here at Target is what it is. Mukfar action figures, $13.99. Whoa, I'm gonna have to check the prices on these. They have Peacemaker. Oh, all right guys. So I checked the price on this and it is $13.99. So I'm gonna pick that one up. Peacemaker was not on sale. So they just had him in the wrong spot. But look forward to this in a Monday McFarland video. I'm gonna start doing McFarland videos on Mondays. Not every Monday, just randomly. So be on the lookout.
Hey, it's Walmart. Since I have to get a few things, let's head on inside and see what they've got to finish out the video. I hope you guys are enjoying your Saturday today. All right, guys, I've made it inside to Walmart here. They have Ozuna, they have some Eternals, some Hamiltons, lots of the Eternals. There's a Witcher pop from a Siri. There's from uh, Netflix, from Netflix. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm always mixing up my words, guys. Always there's Yennefer from The Witcher. Um, hey, look, Eddie Van Halen. Swear. Can I not find a normal, nice box Eddie Van Halen anywhere? Like, nowhere? That really bums me out, man. I really need an Eddie Van Halen. I want that pop. So we got an old Steve Trevor from WW84. I am gonna keep my eyes out peeled for another Eddie Van Halen, but you know, my luck, there won't be. There's Cersei from Eternals. There's a My Hero Academia pop hidden down there. Uh, Mad Men, some Lucha Libre, some Mortal Kombat, and all these are Hamiltons. Down here you get a bunch of the Arizona Cardinal ones. Um, there's more Yennefer, Peggy Olsen. Oh look, they have Trey Cool from Green Day. I need this pop, but you know, can't ever find one in good condition. Is always the issue. Guys, I have been looking through these uh, gold ones because I'm trying to find Slash from Guns N' Roses. I want him and his chase. Those are two gold figures I really, really do want. Slash from Guns N' Roses. So there you go, guys. I did find a chase in store since I didn't point it out in last week's video. This is the LeBron James Chase uh, Funko 12-inch figure, whatever you want to call it. Not something I'm going to pick up, but it is here at a Walmart here in Phoenix, so come check it out, Paradise Valley Mall area. I don't know if it'll stay here, but there it is. I was walking by and I noticed this big end cap. $29.96, not bad, but they all have these little bands on them, which have totally ruined and destroyed the boxes. But they do have the Batman, which is cool, Larry Bird, uh, Michelangelo down there, so some of the zombie Iron Mans, so pretty cool to see. So remember how I was saying that the uh, Grey's Anatomy pops are going way up in values? You can see here on the screen all the PPG values. Well, I did find a Meredith Grey. I found one. So I'm going to go get that real quick, pick that up. I got it for like 10 bucks. It's a $40 pop right now. So let's go get that. I'll show you how I did that. On Amazon. That was the best place I could find. I can't find them anywhere else. They had a couple of them on there. Um, a lot of them were going for their PPG value. Jessica, what is her name? Shoot. Christina, Jessica, Christina is going for $29 PPG on Amazon. She was 20 bucks. Uh, Meredith Bailey, Miranda Bailey, whatever is going for one of my favorite shows. I'm just forgetting names. Uh, she was going for, I think 25 and on Amazon she was 25. Um, Derek Shepard's going for 18 and he, he was on there for 20 something, but this one, Meredith Gray is going for $41 PPG right now, and she was 10 bucks on Amazon. It said that she had like five left, and it's pretty cool. It came in a sorter, came in a nice packaging and everything, so I got a real crispy. So now I've got two of these, because we do have uh, Derek Shepard and Meredith Gray, because they were our two favorite characters when we watched the show, when we picked them up when they first came out, and we were like, well, we'll just wait on the other two. Yeah, it might have been a bad idea. Although I don't know if these will restock and end up being everywhere again. But as of right now, as you guys have seen on the screen, as I've showed the prices, these are going for a pretty hefty PPG. Thank you to all of our Patreons. Everyone here on the screen are great. Thank you guys so much. There's now three tiers for you to support the channel. A $3 tier, a $10 tier, and a $25 tier. Join oh, today. So crazy, Do it. You know you want to. Click, click, click. Do it. You know you want to. Click, click, click. Do it. You know you want to.